Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be installing a wig that I got from Beauty Forever Hair. All of their information, of course, will be in the description box below. Um, so to start off, this is a U-part wig with highlights, with like brown highlights, and it's so pretty. It comes in a body wave. I think this is 24 inches. Um, but the construction of the wig comes with two combs right on the sides and a comb in the back, comb at the bottom, of course, and then your two adjustable straps. So I'm excited about installing this wig. The highlights look so pretty. Um, and another thing is the highlights are at, like it's black at the back and then the highlights are like at the top. So it's kind of funky and it's really cute. So let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, I scared myself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, so I'm gonna do a middle part for this install. I just wanna do it short, sweet, simple, get to the point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take out my leave out even though I need to leave my leave out alone in the middle actually because it's already damaged and broken off but you know here I go being hard-headed so I'm just parting out my hair I'm not gonna do um cornrows underneath the wig I'm actually just gonna slick it not slick it back but I'm gonna do like two thick braids to make this a lot simple for myself and I'm just gonna leave out my um a little bit of my sides to make it look more natural Yeah, so like I was saying earlier, I really did not have the time or the patience to put like five cornrows in my head. So I'm just doing two thick, chunky, dookie braids. They're really not even braids. It's more like some type of weird plait. Um, and I'm just braiding it or doing whatever, like making it go straight to the back because, you know, I don't have time. This takes one, two, three. If you don't know how to braid, this is great. Or you can slick it back and use bobby pins to lay it flat too. Um, but yeah, I just chose to do it this way. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and slide on this wig. Um, yeah, it's a little tricky at first if you haven't like done this before, like figuring out like how to slide it on. You just have to make sure it sits right on your head. So I just like to put in the comb in the back first, then I put in the side pieces, <laughs> and then I connect it at the top. Um, you may have to readjust it a few times like what I had to do but if you you know are like patient and take your time with it you can use anchor braids at the top there where the little side flaps are so it sticks better or you know it, it stops it from sliding more not saying it slides but you know it just makes it more sturdy um, but I didn't feel like doing that of course because you know I'm a little lazy so yeah that's that's what I did but it looks cute anyway well, couldn't even tell look cute <laughs> So after I did my edges, I decided that I want to flat iron this hair, of course, because um, I feel like it would look cute straight, even though it probably look cute with curls in it too. Um, I just want to go ahead and flat iron it. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I chose to flat iron it because that doesn't take as long. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make this thing straight and cute. So let's go ahead and get into it. So 
So here's a little side-by-side -side comparison as usual of one side straight, the other side in its natural state. I didn't make the other side like bone bone straight. Um, I tried, but it didn't get like super bone straight. Also, I was rushing, you know, I was taking, I wasn't like taking my time with it. So that's also why, but it's still cute. Okay, and the only thing that's left is for me to go ahead and flat iron my leave out. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. You know, this little flap right here keeps getting on my nerves, but you know, that's the only complaint I have about this hair is that darn flap. But had I put anchor braids right there, I wouldn't have had that issue. So I'm just gonna stop complaining and go ahead and get into flat ironing my leave out. Thank you. <laughs> y'all so this is actually a couple days later i just threw back on that same shirt so you wouldn't notice but i'm telling you about it anyway so i guess i could have just kept my mouth closed but hey so this is a finished product of the hair it came out really pretty it looks so natural um it's very thin i think it's like a 150 density but all the information will be in the description box below um so it being thinner like that makes it feel more natural it's kind of it gives that like sew-in quick weave vibe and it's super fast like it only took like 10 minutes honestly to put this on and i love it um but yeah that's it for this video thank you guys so much so much for watching and adios till next time